Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miles. Welcome to Prey. Uh, today, I decided to sit down and play Prey. Everyone was telling me to play it. Uh, so I kind of wanted to try it out for myself and wanted to see how it is. So, Prey, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to play it on normal mode because... Oh shoot, I get to choose my gender? Nice. She got some red eyes. She need to get some. Maybe that was just me, I don't know. I could have swore her eyes were like really. Whoa, never mind, it was the flicker. Not his eyes are red, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get started. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. What does that mean? What is that supposed to mean? Press any key. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Yay. What, what, what kind of guy is named Morgan? Am I right? Am I right? Alrighty, let's get started. Oh, a pre-order bonus! I <laughs> lost. I didn't pre-order Prey, but I apparently got it. Cool. Hey, Morgan, wake up! You're burning daylight. Okay. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Oh. Uh, Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. First day on the job. I've been giving ob uh, given an objective. How cool is that? First day on the job. Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board this shuttle. Put on your Transtar uniform. Which is in my apartment, apparently. Uh, this looks like it's my inventory, and this looks like it's my notes. Oh, apparently that's how you scroll. Cool! Cool, 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 cool. Now, uh... Backspace is to go back. I don't like that. I don't like having backspace to go back. That's just not a big fan. Video games? <laughs> oh, I get to pick stuff up! How cool! This is cool. Hey, check out... My super awesome, super awesome console here. PC Master Race. Get this out of here. Ooh, I like this PC though. I don't know what I just did. Oh, I unlocked it. Cool. Let's check out my emails. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your official, your first official workday is Monday, March fifteenth. Oh my God, today's the fourteenth. I just realized that. That's really no. Sorry, it's March. Sorry, this is May. Excuse me. It's May. Oh, I got all excited for a second. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Alrighty. What's this one? Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for the first day. Uniform, transcribe, and neuromod. Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they'll but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both their children, both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says, okay? Actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyways, everyone's excited about your idea up there, ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably Call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Cool. So I know I have a brother. I am the responsible one. My parents are apparently pretty busy with work, so I'm assuming they're high up in the business world. And I just got a job. Apparently it was my dream job, and I don't think I'm... And it has something to do with my ideas. So there we go. 
By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You can also pick up stuff in the game, which is quite nice. Frayed wire. Oh, you can collect stuff and build stuff, I assume. How cool is this? Oh, it looks like some type of PC I was trying to build. Oh, what is this? Speech, Synthesis, and Natural Language Generation. Excerpt from Chapter 3 of Speech, Synthesis, and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smythe. Voice, conversion, voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. This sounds like really, really gibberish mumbo jumbo, but the quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. So, I'm um, just making sure I... Neuro... Like, okay, so as far as I'm concerned, this guy is obviously some type of engineer. That's all I could get from all of these um, notes about designing, structure... Uh, I, I'll go ahead and read everything else, but I'm already sort of getting what this game is about. I'll go ahead and... No. No. I thought I was supposed to change, but I'll change later. Neuromod application instructions. Warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Okay, this is the neuromod I was supposed to install for my work. So, remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Ugh, God. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold neuromod against an eye for five minutes. Dispose of used neuromod and provided biohazard bag. Ugh. That's gross. Mm, what the hell? What the hell? Uh, neurological revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician at the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it was... But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe me? No. Alex leans back in his, in the, his chair. Welcome to the age of Neuromod. Okay, so this is big. I'm gonna take this. I took sparkling wine. Take that as well. Nothing. Okay, so it's, it's enough mumbo jumbling around. Heart of the walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned walk could be a sublime, almost spiritual experience that many layers of a blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have got... This is just a cookbook. What am I doing? What am I doing? Can you guys read? Because... Literally, I don't, I can't even describe, look at all these books over here, like literally. So after going through all of these um, things, it's obviously, you could tell that he's, um, excerpt from the book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Considering that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older, some of these stars will have Earth-like planets, some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed at currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. So basically, I think everything in this game is, like, or everything in the beginning of this level is kind of just foreshadowing i'd say uh just that's basically the whole point of this so let's go ahead and get going so a lot of foreshadowing here i'm reading uh yeah a lot of lots of foreshadowing lots of books to read but let's go ahead and get our suit on this guy's what you've probably been waiting for for a while all right let's get it done I like it. I like it. Alrighty. I think I have to put my neuro thing on. Get to the helicopter on the roof. Did I already install my stuff? You can push F to turn it on, but you can't turn it off. Alright, there we go. Got my shaving cream. You can't really 
Nice, nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and get going. I'm just making sure that I don't... I'm not forgetting anything. Doesn't look like I'm forgetting anything. Let's go ahead and get out of my apartment. Which is a very nice apartment, by the way, I must say. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Morning, Mr. Yu. Morning, how are you doing? You doing good? You look like you need this. You take it. Not a good time. <laughs> Not a good time. These things can be tricky, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you keep that. Seriously? Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I am really a dick when it comes to NPCs. Uh, let's go ahead. Get to the roof. Let's go. Alrighty. Welcome to the roof. Locked. Hello. This is my bride. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. We made it. I like this. It's a nice ride. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear That's skies cool. all the way. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Let's do this. I oh, oh man. I like this ride, yo. This is a nice ride. I am digging this. That's a nice view on the bay there. Um, oh, an Arcane Studios production. All right. Top notch quality of introduction. Top notch. Top notch. Heck yeah, I like it. What's that? Oh, it's Trump Tower. Oh. Apparently this is where we're supposed to be going. We're heading to Trump Tower. Pray. Well, that's kind of underwhelming. Maybe not. Maybe it's not underwhelming. Okay, you're cool, game. Oh, Here we are, Mr. Yu. That was a little over dramatic. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. I like that ride. I want one. I want one of these. Let's go. Let's get out of here. And see the world. Hello, Dr. Yu. Who are you? I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Okay. Welcome. Wait, can I talk more? You have a has over nine a dozen state of the art appointment in the testing the facility. More, Please confirm. If you count the entire yeah. Earth Moon system. What was I supposed to confirm? Yeah, I have a 9 a.m. appointment. I'm going to the 9 a.m. appointment. That's where I'm going. Only a hundred floors? Disappointing. Disappointing. I was expecting at least 150. All the cool kids got 150. Level. 150 floor buildings. Unacceptable. Morgan. Finally. Who are you? Is that a brother? That's my brother, I believe. Is, I don't want to... Is he my brother? I can't... That's my brother. Okay. Sup? How's it going, sir? Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Yeah? Breaking convention is in our blood. Yeah. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Okay, you got it. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. You promise? Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. Okay, must have. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. So we're going to be doing some tests, I believe, is what, what's happening here. Ooh, a magazine. Uh, the reason I keep reading these is because I, I just like want to make sure I don't miss anything important. Uh, what if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician? Oh, I already read this already. This is something from um, my brother Yu. Shit, this is nervous. I I'm not very good at tests. I have test anxiety. 
shit. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. I suck at tests. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Better. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Um. Alrighty then. Wonderful. That's... Uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. I suck at tests! I want to retry! I want to... <laughs> I messed up so bad! I want to retry! No! Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. Shit! I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine <laughs> seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. You only have nine seconds. All right, obviously you'd think to hide in the chair, but... Oh, fuck. You can't crouch in this game? Oh, let's see. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Like this? Oh, we're... oh I got it. Okay. Fuck, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not ready! It's not going down. Hmm, uh, It's not working! Any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. I suck at these tests. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I hate you, you fucking jerk. this like how would, I was trying to hide but it didn't freaking work I don't know how I had it set to where I could do it and it didn't freaking do it these controls are stupid I'm not stupid no I I'm good at, at the at, I'm fine I'm fine all right here we go for this test please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural intuitive way possible without thinking just just go for it press the red button when you're ready i'm sorry can someone please explain to me what's happening simmons i installed exactly what tina brought down did you double check speaker still on what am i doing I apologize, wrong apologize morgan we're having some trouble with the equipment not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. What am I doing wrong? One last room. Let's step into D. What am I doing wrong? Fuck you guys. I'm do. I'm not stupid. I I suck at IQ tests. I'm not. Fuck. Shit. This sucks. Oh my god. Okay. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan, have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Let's get this over with. You're planning on a, you're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know <sighs> you love. Or try something new. Try something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid? I don't know what happened. Angry? No one has the right, right and calm. It was worth it. Uh, I'd probably be afraid. I don't Ooh, know really what's that's gonna heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. One person dying is a lot better than five. It's kind of depressing, I know, but it's just the way I think, and I do it for the greater good. Good. Next. 
A runaway train is bearing down on five people. If you're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man, pushing him into the track would stop the train. Hmm. Well, it's that's that's a little bit. This is getting a little bit more complicated. I don't know. This is questioning my moral values. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna have to uh, skip this part of the video. Oh crap! Ah, push the fat man. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you will die. Oh, I'm a, I'm a sucker for self-sacrificing. I jump onto the tracks. Wow. I'm jumping on the tracks. Impressed. I, I'm a sell, I'm a sucker for self-sacrifice. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, is that good? This is, oh fuck! Oh shit! Shit just got real. Oh shit! Oh no! What? Alex, Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. What just happened? Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I do something wrong? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong here. This is weird. Okay. So, I didn't... I didn't do anything wrong, I believe, so I'm assuming that I did everything right. I'm assuming. Everything looks the same. I'm not sure. What the hell is going on? All right, this is weird. Everything looks the same. Oh, I, my, my stuff I picked up. I, I feel like this is gonna be useful, so I'm gonna continue to pick that up. I need a password. Has anything changed in the emails? Six emails? This is from January. Who's January? What's going on? What? What the hell is happening? Danger, leave now. Shit. Alright, all the notes seem to be the same. Hello? Closet door shut. Okay, now it's not. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, there's bleeding in this game. Oh, it's gonna be GG, boys and girls. GG, it's over. That's how you, that's how you know it's. Probably have. What the hell happened to you? I'm gonna pick up your wrench, though. Damn. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. Uh -huh. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. All right, I need to get out of here. Uh. All right, so there's my. What's going on around here? What is happening? I need to 
turn down my audio music volume just a little bit. Alright, we gotta find out what the heck's going on. are locked. Alrighty. Maybe I can break through my glass door. Oh! Ooh, I knew it! I knew something was different! You sons of bitches. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. You bitches were testing me. simulation lab now get to the exit I'll keep in contact all righty well I don't know what's happening but I'm probably gonna end the first video here guys if you want to continue watching watch part two I'm freaking out right now I just I don't I don't know what's happening I'm just gonna pretend like nothing's happened, but I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not freaking out because I'm just okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching part one. Continue watching to part two. I'll see you in the next video. My name was Miles. Bye. Woo!